All right, check it out. We got a big school of bull reds or Jack Cavell or something just tearing everything up. Oh my God. Oh my God. What have I got? I got a Miradine. Ooh, I don't know about that. That's what I got though, y'all. I am not prepared for this. All right, we're on. We're on. Oh, we're on. We're on. Whoo! Whoo, big fish. Big fish. Big fish. Oh, don't spool me. Don't spool me. Whoo! Whoo! Oh, he's swimming to me. He's swimming to me. Oh, there he goes. Oh! Whoo! 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 Don't spool me! Don't spool me! Burning up my thumb! Burning up my thumb! I don't know if it's a big jack or a bull red or what I have got. I just gotta wear him out. Cause he's about to spool this little bait caster. And those hooks aren't big on that 17 MR Miradine. Look at them, y'all. Look at them. Are they jacks? Are they bulls? I think it's jacks. It's jacks. Big jacks. Big jacks. I'm doing all I can do with him. Whew. I can't gain any ground on him. That's all I had was that Miradine. All right, I'm gaining some ground. Big fish, big fish. He is taking me all over this boat, y'all. Oh my God, he's big. That's a big old jack. I can see him right out there. Big jack. Big jack. 20 pound braid, 20 pound fluorocarbon leader, tied with a loop knot, little hooks on this Miradine. I'm gaining a little bit of ground. Just a little bit of ground. Oh, oh until then. Oh. All right, swimming to me a little bit. Oh, I can hear that line. I can hear that line. It's like a like piano wire, y'all. It is playing a tune. It is playing a tune. These are some strong fighting fish on super light tackle for this. I can't believe those hooks hadn't pulled yet. We're at a standstill. Look at that hobo rod bend, y'all. Look at that rod bend. He's circling the boat. He's circling the boat. Oh no, there goes my thumb. Whoo. This quantum smoke is, is smoking, y'all. <laughs> oh, I don't know if I'm going to get this fish in. Oh, he's making another dig. He's making another run, y'all. Oh, oh my God. Oh my God. Came out today to target flounder on rock jetties. Wasn't getting the bites. Came out here, making a run out in the bay, and I run across this huge school of jacks. Throw this little Miradine out there, cause that's all I had, right? I can't believe he hadn't broke me off or my hooks hadn't pulled yet. They're not big treble hooks on these Miradines. All right, I'm making a little ground. Whew. Making up a little ground. Don't want, don't want to force this fish because I will definitely, definitely break off or pull one of those hooks. We're just making laps around the boat. 
until we wear this big joker out. Oh, he's, he ain't done yet, y'all. He is not done yet. Don't have a gaff. All I got is a dip net. Normally I bring my spinning setup with a popping cork. I always keep on a boat, but I didn't do it today. And the day was the day I needed it. Oh, that rod, if he makes a run with that rod bowed over like that, she would surely snap. I feel that fish has got at least one more good run left in him. Look at that rod bend, y'all. <laughs> Chris Guy with Hobo Rods, we, we putting this into the test, cuz. My God. Come on, give up. Yep, there's that last run, or I hope it's the last run. Fish is wearing out. I'm wearing out. We've been fish, fighting this fish for about 15 minutes now, it feels like. All right. Are you ready for the net yet? Huh, have you had enough? Come on, come on up on your side. Come on, give in. Give in. Come on. Oh, I think we got him just on one treble hook too. Oh, I got to get a little bit more line before I can net him. All right, come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Let's go. Woo. And the hook pulled. <laughs> oh, look at that, y'all. The hook pulled. Whew. Oh, yes. Yes, baby. Whoo. Whoo. That's a net full of jack right there. Oh, I can't believe the hooks on that Miradine held. I had him on like one, maybe two hooks. What a fun, fun fight. On a light tackle setup and a little old 17 MR Miradine. 20 pound braid, 20 pound fluorocarbon, and catch a 20 pound fish. Maybe a little more, I'm not sure. 40, 40 inches y'all, 40 inch jack. Whew. What a fun fighting fish. What do y'all think about doing a catch, clean and cook on a jack cavale? I've personally never tried it. I don't know if you've tried it or not, but I say we try it. We'll do a catch, clean and cook on that guy. Whew. Whew. Get in there, boy. That's a 160 quart cooler. And he goes from one end to the other. I've never ate Jack Creval. I don't know. We are going, I've got something in mind, something I want to try with it. So we're gonna, we're gonna take this fish home. We're gonna clean him. We're gonna cook him up. And we're gonna see what he tastes like. If you enjoyed this video, smash that like button. If you hadn't subscribed to my channel already, please consider subscribing and stay tuned because in a snap of the fingers, we will be cleaning that guy probably tonight after my flounder gigging charter. And then we'll cook him up tomorrow for y'all. All right, everybody. It is one o'clock in the morning. 
my charter clients just left from a fun night of flounder gigging. There's the old Jack Cavell. Y'all comment right now and let me know, <laughs> is this gonna be a big mistake? I don't know. I've always heard that they were real bloody, real nasty tasting fish. We're going to try it right here on Bayou Bandit Charters. We're going to try it to see if it's worth eating. We're fixing to fillet this rascal, get in there, see what the meat looks like. Stay tuned. All right, I will be using my sword, seven inch flexi. <laughs> really need the nine inch for this size fish, but I don't have the nine inch, I've got the seven. Really like this knife. This knife has never seen fresh water. It's always on my boat, in the salt. And as you see, there's no rust on it at all. It's in great shape, super, super sharp edge on this knife. I have an affiliate link down in the description below uh, if you want you one of these knives. Nobody has probably ever cleaned a Jack Cavall with it. So I have never cleaned a Jack Cavall. So we got to get in here, check it out. That knife cuts right through that fish like butter though. Let's spin that big old joker around. Go in here. And I will leave an honest review on how this fish tastes. If it tastes like crap, I'll let you know. All I think I really want off of this fish is the back strap. That is a dark piece of meat for sure. It reminds me of like backstrap off a of deer. Looks to me like a cross kind of between tuna and beef. really does look more like beef than anything else to me. I'm probably going to regret this, but I'm going to do it anyway, just for y'all, just so where I know and y'all will know if it's worth fooling with or not. So keep on watching. Next time you see me, we'll either have the grease hot or the charcoal hot, one of the two. Stay tuned. All right, we have got the grill fired up. Is this a big mistake or is this gonna be good eating? I don't know. What I did was I prepared this fish two different ways. Uh, the first way I'm gonna treat it like fish, I soaked it in milk for about 30 hours. I've got my Louisiana seasoned crispy fish fry I've got it in a Ziploc bag. Once we get through frying this fish, we're gonna put some frog bone, some Justin Wilson, and some salt on it. We are also gonna treat this Jack Creval like it is a piece of filet mignon. We have marinated it for 30 hours in Allegro Hickory Smoke marinade, and we have seasoned it with gunpowder seasoning and Kingsford Original. We're gonna treat that like a piece of steak. We're gonna put it on the grill, sear it, and then let it cook down with these onions, let them caramelize and see how it tastes like that. We're fixing to fry this fish first and then we'll grill it and then we'll see how it tastes. Is this a big waste of time? Is this truly a trash fish that you cannot eat or is there a good recipe to prepare it where it is good table fare? Stay tuned. All right, we're gonna put our 
Jack Cabal, NR Fish Fry. Like I said, we have marinated it in milk for quite a long time. Give that some good shakes. And we are gonna put that in our grease. All right, we're gonna put a little frog bone on that and a little Justin Wilson and a little bit of sea salt. <clears throat> now we're gonna get our uh, pieces that we're gonna treat like steak. And we're gonna put them on the grill. I've got to admit, that looks very good. All right, we're gonna take our onions. We're gonna put our Jack Creval in our pan of onions. Let that cook till it caramelizes the onions. We'll be right back. All right. Oh man, that looks so good. Is it gonna taste good? I don't know, but it sure looks good. Let's sit it right there. Let it cool for a few minutes. All right, the moment of truth. Let's go in for some of this fried Jack Creval. This is a sample we treated like fish. We've got it fried up nicely. It's still good and hot. I don't know, this may be horrible. Let's go in for a bite and see. Don't throw these fish back, y'all. I'm telling you, soak it in milk. Soak it in milk for about 30 hours. To me, it tastes just like catfish. It tastes like fried catfish. I'd eat that all day long. And this is an honest review. If it wasn't good, hey, I've got hamburgers ready to throw on this grill just in case. This is good food. Nice texture. It reminds me a little bit of fried mullet mixed with fried catfish. There's no strong bloody taste. There's no strong fishy taste. I kid you not, that's really good. Don't throw these Jack Cravals back. That is good. All right, how does it taste when you treat it like it's steak? And it's super hot, just come off the grill. All right. Honestly, after eating both, that's got a little bit too much fishy taste on the back end as you're treating it like steak but this fried soaked in milk is absolutely the way to go with this jack Creval. I would eat this all day long, hands down. Definitely the way to prepare this fish 
is to soak it in milk for 30 hours, put your seasoning on it, fry it, batter, fry it like you would any other fish. That is a win. That, not so much. Got a little, got a little fishy aftertaste to it. It doesn't really blend with the seasonings, with the onions. That's not really the way I would recommend fixing this Jack Caval. This is definitely the way to go. I promise you, I will never throw Jack Caval back. Because this is good. Absolutely good fish. Hope y'all enjoyed this week's episode. Hope you learned a little something. If you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you hadn't already. We put out weekly content fishing along the Alabama and Mississippi Gulf Coast, and you never know what we might be doing. Definitely give Jack Cabal a thumbs up. Don't throw the fish back. Do it just like this. As you see, there ain't nothing left. That's good. Very, very good table fare. Season it, fry it up. It is unbelievably awesome. Last piece. And it's gone. Thanks for watching. See y'all next week.